The runoff curve number on Waterway Builder operates the same as in all other Agron tools. To start the process, simply click on the RCN icon. If you want to guesstimate your runoff curve number, you can click on the Yes button and enter an RCN. However, if you want to calculate the RCN, click on No and additional icons will appear in the left-hand toolbar. There are two basic steps to developing a runoff curve number. Step one is to categorize all the soils into hydrologic groups. Step two is to identify the different land uses in the watershed. Let's start the Assign Soil Hydrologic button. After clicking on this button, an odd looking soils map will appear. All soils in the United States fall into four hydrologic soil groups, A, B, C, or D. In some cases, all the soils on the map will automatically be categorized. However, in most cases, including this example, you will need to provide some assistance in assigning certain soil polygons to a hydrologic group. You can see some of the polygons are unassigned. This is indicated by their white color. To assign these polygons, simply move your cursor over the white polygon and left click. You will get a short menu of options. Move down the menu and select the correct option. You are finished with this step when all the white polygons are shaded in. Next, click on the Cut Land Use icon. When you click on this icon, the screen will return to the imagery layer. Use this tool to cut the watershed into different land uses. In this example, the watershed is mainly cropland with a small part of the watershed in a farmstead. Once you have cut the watershed into different polygons based on land use, then click on the Assign Land Use icon. Move your cursor over the polygon and left click. You will be shown a menu of options for land use. Move down the menu and select the land use for that polygon. After assigning the land uses, you have completed the runoff curve number step.